guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Um, I'm going to tell you uh, the Silver Invicta, but just basically it's in a, a crippler style uh, pattern. So I'm going to show you how to put it together. Now the hook in the vase is a heavy weight wet fly hook, it's an Osprey hook in size 10. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is the Uni Thread 80 in black. So we're just going to come in, get the thread started behind the other hook. And we'll just run our thread down here until we're sort of way in line with the, the barb and remove the, the waist piece. The rib, this is a silver wire. Now, I'm just going to run my thread back up. Just hang in the wire because I just want to make sure the body is as smooth as I can possibly get it. And then bring the thread back down, tied up against the the wire at the back, just where you had sort of way started off. Now, the body is going to be the silver Medar from uni. This is the, the silver and gold in size 10. So, just want to catch that in. And then just run the thread up, tying our made iron, nice and tight. Now, this is a dead wee simple pattern when you're tying it in the, the crippler stain if you like. Now, just going to come around with the nice straight turn at the back and then you're just looking overlapping turns of the made iron up the body. Follow this around with your thread, a couple of tight turns to secure come in throw away the excess. Now the body haggle, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to use a dark ginger cock saddle haggle. So just getting the feather off here, breaking away the rubbish at the bottom, stripping off some of the fibers to bear the stem. Just come around with a couple of tight turns, nice tight turns here. Tying that in, come in, trim away the, the stem. And then we're just going to polymer this down the body. Now I'm just going to get two turns going at the shoulder of the fly. And then three to four turns down the body. Should be plenty. Now just come around with your, keeping a hold of your tip of your hackle. Just come around with your silver wire. And you're looking four turns up the body of the silver wire. Sweep everything back that's going forward. Bring your silver wire up in front, follow that around with your thread, nice tight turns, come in and bend and break away the wire, you can break away the tip of the hackle at the back, anything that's going forward, just stroke it back, bring the thread down to the eye and back up again. Now, <coughs> I just like to come in here with my toothbrush and just brush the haggle out, anything that I may have caught. Now the shoulder haggle, or the next front haggle if you like. This is a golden pheasant rump feather that has been dyed yellow. So just trimming away the rubbish at the bottom of the faber. Just going to stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip. Then I'm just going to come in with my thread couple of turns, I'm going to fold the tip back, nice and tight, come in, locate the tip, you can break that away, and then just wind your rump feather, now, probably just going to use up the whole wee rump feather here, just to put the, the collar into it, it's going to do me there, I'll catch the rump feather off on top, nice tight turns, come in and trim away the rump feather. Now I'm just going to come in and get a wee lick of wax on the thread. Just take away the excess. Bring the thread to the eye. And back up tight against the haggle. Now just want to come in and open the, the rump feather out just to let you see the fly. 
pretty wee fly, these wee crippler patterns. <coughs> and you can take any of the traditional patterns and turn them into these wee flags. Now the next haggle, this is a Mats, so let me get it out of the drawer here, this is a Mats Grade 2. Now, just going to bring away the, rub the rubbish from the bottom. Just going to strip off some of the fibres to bar the stem. Then I'm going to come in and offer this up to the hook. Nice tight turns down to the eye and back up again. Turn that away. And then we're just going to fold this and come round with one turn in front of the other. Now the turns of this grizzle hackle, if you're going to use a grizzle hackle, this one here has been dyed blue. Turns are up to you. I'm going to put another turn in. I'm just going to take it to there. I'm going to follow this around with my thread. Get nice tight turns in here. Now, I'm going to put another wee nickel wax onto my thread here at this point. I'm going to come in and collect the, the feather. Trim that away. I'm going to come in and sweep everything back here. Nice and tight. And then bring my thread. back up just over the top of the hackle a tiny bit take away the excess wax now you can tie the fly off at that point but I'm going to put jungle cock on loads and loads of split jungle cock in two capes and some of them are perfectly split and like this one and some aren't but they're always good to use these split jungle cock especially on we wet flies like this Right, I'm just going to catch that in. These are just loose turns. Just to catch in the jungle cock. <coughs> Excuse me, beg your pardon. Then I'm just going to come in and trim away the excess. Sometimes I like to fold it back, but I'm just worried. I just want to, sorry. I just don't want to create too much bulk with the head area. So just clipping that off, come back in again with a another wee lick of wax. Just stroke everything back, bring the thread to the eye, and then we're just going to build up our head. Now don't be shy with the head folks. There's times to tie flies with small heads and all that sort of good stuff. Don't be shy with the head. Now, just I'm happy enough with the, the head on the wee fly, so I'm just going to come in here with my whip finishing tool. Just looking to put a, just a wee bit of shape into the top of the head here. Throw in a whip finish. Pull the thread tight. Come in and trim away your, your tan thread. Now, you can get a wee look at the fly. See what way we're, we're sitting. I'm happy enough with that. So first coat on the head. Just a wee touch of super glue. Now just be careful if you're going to use start using the super glue on your your trade fly. You just don't want this running anywhere else into the pattern. Now I've reduced the brush down there by over half just so you can get into the wee tight areas. Then just come in just to make sure, I know that there is none on the eye, but just to double check, just clean out the eye. And there you go guys, that's just a silver Invicta, tied in a crippler style version. So, look, tie a few of those up, hopefully they can catch a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video, I really do appreciate it. If you like the wee videos that I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my channel. Really help the wee channel out. And until next time guys, please stay safe and tight lanes.